Yo guys, it's your boy Dele back with another tutorial. And for this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do some basic lighting because I've seen a lot of people wanting me to do a tutorial how to do do, li do lighting. But I don't really want to show my own lighting, so I'm making a like a, a new just some simple lighting that could still help for your thumbnails, like content thumbnails and scenes. And I'll also be uploading the light room that I make in this video down below. So remember to hit that like button and subscribe and without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so first step is actually to open up Blender as I already have and import them on, it doesn't really matter. I just got Splat Charlie here. So yeah, right now as you can see I got no HDI or anything on. So one HDI I really recommend for thumbnails which I used before I used Dynamic Sky. Uh, is approaching storm. I'll have a link for that below so you can download as well. So how to uh, put on a HDI. You take up your shader tab here and then you make sure this is on world and not object. Then press new and then it should be like this. Now it should have uh, this background node. Then press shift A or you can also press add and then search after environment texture. <laughs> Connect that to color and it should be pink like that. Uh, after download the HDI, you press open here. Now look at where you downloaded the HDI on your computer. I'm gonna just do that real quick. So my HDIs are here. I have three as you can see. I just never used them. So here's the approaching storm model. No HDI. So cl double click that. So now you can see the HDI is imported into Blender. And it's got a, yeah, it's, it's here as you can see. Oh, and one step to make sure if you didn't already know, if you can see like a like if it's if it's like this for you you need to press this tv setting here scroll down and then you should press film and then press transparent so that way so it's transparent next step to getting better lighting is color management color management is being slept on well not really but for some people they don't even know what it is so i'm gonna show you what it is today Go on the TV settings again, and then scroll all the way down. It should be closed for you, but you, uh, you see the call management tab right here, and then open it up. Click right there. As you can see, you got a bit of settings. You got a view transform, look, exposure, and stuff like that. Alright, so what you want to do is focus on look and exposure. The other stuff, it doesn't really matter. You can also use curves, but I'm not really going to go into depth with that. So, for look, I would recommend you to do high contrast. Or the very high contrast. I like to do very high contrast as it just makes it look more crisp. After you've done that, you turn down the exposure just a tad bit so it's like like so. Just like that. So it isn't too bright and the skin gets too pale and white. So you can actually see some color. And now for the lighting in itself. Let me just take down the tab here. What I like to do to add lights, I press this X and then I press Shift A. Make sure you're on object mode, by the way. Shift A, and then hold over light, and then area light. After you uh, added the area light, you press R, and then hold control, and then just drag it down here. You don't need to hold left click, just drag your mouse. Then take the area light and put it behind the skin. Then press S, and then X, so it you size it down uh, horizontally. And like just about this a little bit more than the skin's back itself and then you just up and then wait and then press s and then y and then oh there we go you need to double click it sometimes and just do it a bit taller so it fits it with the skin as well so now just play around with it and see when it looks the best you don't need to you don't want it to be like too visible uh in front and not too like not as much so just find the perfect spot I'll just try to find just like that that should be good now you want to change the color just a tad bit so press here the light bulb make sure you have the area light selected then press color and well, what like the color I like to do is just do the tad bit bluish not that much but just a tad bit because that's mostly what for in a background sound stuff like that so yeah just do it a tad bit blue but we also want to distribute, like, let me just post this real quick so it's like, uh, the arms are down. There we go. 
So now I can do the lighting better. So all we want to do is duplicate this, Control C and Control V. Take it to the side over here, and then press X, no S, and then X, and then size it down like this. This creates like an inner glow over here. So you just want to take that a bit more back, so it is nice, bright, just like that. And then you Control C and Control V that, and drag it over to the other side. And maybe take that a bit further back. Just like so. Then what you want to do is probably try to get some light up behind the head as well. So we're going to take this, Control C and then Control V, take it above here, and then just press S and then X, make it a bit wider, S and then Y, and then make it a bit like this. Just play around with it until you find a size that you like. And just have it a bit over the head, just like so. So it creates like a little light above it. Just like so. Maybe a bit further back. There we go. Alright, so what what you can also do now, I didn't tell you tell you like I told you a bit about it before, but like the curves. The curves can also help. Uh here. These are just some pre-made curve settings that can help a little bit get the color out of the skin. And you can just use it's like an S S curvature. You can just use that. So as you can see the skin gets a bit more brownish, which can help with the color. That's basically it for the lighting. Lighting isn't really hard, as you can see. It's just a bit of light. You need to get it down correctly, positions, and then it should look decent. Um, as I said in the start of the video, I'll be linking this down in the description. So, any support is appreciated, really. As a, as a, if you can just hit that subscribe button and po turn on post notifications, I would really appreciate it. And that's it for today's video. Bye.